Wahguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahguru Ji Ki Fateh. Sangat Ji, I'm going to talk from a family member's point of view. Uh, I'm Rav's wife. Um, the easiest way to say what I went through was um, it was lonely. It was nobody knew what you was going through. I had amazing family, um, which I'm also the main Sikhi I wasn't at the time. But at the same time, I had nobody. Nobody knew what I was going through. Um, I had drug dealers posting drugs to the letterbox. I came from a family that didn't know anything about drugs, didn't know what drugs were. Um, um, I think it was about a year after we got married, he said something like, I'm addicted to drugs. Um, I didn't know what it was. I was completely in shock. I thought, OK, we can sort this out. But from that moment, silence. No one spoke about it. So I thought, OK, I'm on my own in this journey. We had my son. I thought it would change. And to me, myself, it was, I can only change myself. Um, I can't change anybody else. I can't change anyone around me. If I change myself, my own sochini, and for me, it was my guru's guidance. I want my kids to be this person. So why shouldn't I be that person too? Um, so we did start a little journey together, but then his addiction always took over. Um, I would stay awake with him all night, and he'd have a baseball bat, and I'd think, Chal, Ajay, he's going to kill me, in it. My kids would be asleep. Um, he'd take money, anything he could find, the kids' money. I'd have to go to work, leave the children there. And, because not because I wanted to, because I had to. Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes on in your mind, but ultimately you're, you're alone. There isn't, there isn't, what there is today, there wasn't when we went through that. Um, so really, it's for the Sangha mainly that are going through it, that the help is there. There's more help there than you realise, and the silence isn't silence anymore. It's more, if you, if you need it, I mean, people can approach me anytime, anywhere, and, you know, even just listening helps. But we... We went through times where, like, we went through times where everybody says, just leave him, it's okay, but you can't, because you made that commitment. You made that commitment where you, you want to help that person, but you can't help that person until that person helps themselves. So eventually when the help did come from him, he went to rehab. I felt weights lift off my shoulders so much, but I thought, I can't do this for him, I have to do it for myself. I have to do it for my children. I have to make sure they get the best start in life. Um, so for us, for me, it was my guru kept me going. My nitanem kept me going to when we went to India. We took Amrit together as a family. And that was the beginning of our life. And the journey that, the, the journey that came before that just went. It just went. It wasn't, it was untouchable. You couldn't, it didn't come close to what we felt then. But all the doc that we went through, we were meant to go through that dock. Um, but f f from a family member's point of view, to me, deep down, it was Chal Munda Tabiya Kaliye. Aapi Sudar Janayani. But it didn't happen. It was more freedom for him. He'd go out, not come back. He'd, he'd steal. He, st he stole a lot. Debt was, un un was uncontrollable. It was... It's, it's all petty now, but I want to share it because there's somebody out there that is going through this. I'm not the first person and I won't be the last person. But w with the right Sangat, you can get through anything. You can, it's, it's, it's accomplishable. You can, you, you can beat it. You can find yourself. If you, c you, if you can help one person, just better themselves, get away from it. It's, it's sewa, isn't it? Um, but no, it's like, it's, it is it is good with guidance, it is good with guidance. And when my husband went to rehab, there was family groups that were there. And initially he used to say to me, no, you don't want to go to them places. There's drug dealers there, the families are there. But I thought, why not? And I went to one and everyone that was speaking there, I felt what they felt, they felt what I felt. And I thought, you know, these are the people that need me and I need them. And together, a 19 week program it was, and it was just me and my children. Yes, I have, like I have got a really big family, and my brothers, my my sister, my mom, they all said, "Oh, we'll beat him up, we'll do this, we'll take you, we'll take the kids." But you don't understand what it's like. You're very lonely. I lost all my self confidence. I never used to go nowhere. My son's birthday, he wouldn't turn up at the Godura. We do a program. 
then I'd get, why are you doing programs for if you can do best in our family? But I'm not doing it for nobody else, I'm doing it for him. I'm doing it for Guruji, I'm doing it for, we want, I want to do it to, to, to bless the moment. Um, but you are, you, you, you don't want to go no because people talk about you and then you think, hang on a minute, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When you take that step and say it doesn't matter, it doesn't actually matter because you can only change yourself, you can't change anybody else. And that's really the main thing that I want to share. But um, hopefully I'll help even one person. But thank you for listening. Why good you got Why good you